What's going on y'all? So today I've decided to do a countdown of my top three firearms I think every sportsman should have to be able to harvest any game in North America. The idea came to me from TikTok. I saw someone ask uh, another TikTok user what his top three firearms were. And though we agreed on one, the other two I couldn't necessarily get behind. Uh, and I can't even remember what the other two were. But the one that we did agree on is this right here, the 22 long rifle. Uh, this is actually my son's, so you'll see on the other side, it's got the 410 shells. I bought this for 100 bucks. It came with an extra barrel so he could shoot the 410 shells and the 22 long rifle. I've got it set up right now for 22 long rifle. Uh, if you're not familiar, 22 long rifle, little bitty bullet. It's the perfect little rifle for a beginner. Um, I know I, when I graduated from BB gun, it was straight to 22 LR. Um, it's the perfect little plinking rifle. It's the best little squirrel gun out there, in my opinion. Um, man, I was tearing up squirrels and rabbits left and right when I was a kid. Now, when I was a kid, you could get a box of 550 Federal 22 bullets for about eight or nine bucks, you know? And if you keep up with gun prices and ammo prices, you know that's gone way through the roof. But ammo prices are coming down, um, and the availability is starting to show back up. So there could be an argument made that maybe a 17 HMR could be a better small game rifle. I'm not going to say I disagree. I'm just going to say that I feel like that's more of a specialty caliber, a uh, specialty round, and that it's much more common to be able to find a 22. Like I said, you could get this for 100 bucks. You can go to a pawn shop and get your little bolt action or tube fed magazine for in the neighborhood of 80 to 120 bucks. So I'm going to have to stick with my guns on this and say that every hunter in North America should have a 22 rifle. That's, uh, that's my story, I'm sticking to it. Now here's the one that really surprised me. Everything he mentioned was a rifle. And I cannot imagine being a sportsman in North America wanting to be able to harvest any game. If I can only have three guns that I could hunt with, why in the world he did not include a shotgun. Um, Y'all, a shotgun is the most versatile firearm in hunting, point blank, period, and uh, I will die on that hill, okay? Um, we'll get into that in another video, but plain and simple, you can hunt anything from deer to ducks to doves, to rabbit, to squirrels, raccoons, whatever you want, this gun will get it done. Uh, personally, if I've got to pick just one, I am picking a 12 gauge. Um, when it comes to brands and stuff, to each their own, I don't care what you do. Uh, this is my Remington 870 Super Mag. I use this primarily for duck hunting. Absolutely love this gun. My wife has a Mossberg 500. Perfect little shotgun for her, also on 12 gauge. And my daughter has a Mossberg, um, no, it's a Remington. It is a Remington. It's a Remington 20 gauge. I can't remember the, the model of it. But, you know, to each their own. It really doesn't matter. But for me, 12 gauge is king. And you cannot complete an arsenal as a sportsman without a 12 gauge. The idea that I couldn't go shoot ducks or dove or... You know, if you're somewhere besides Alabama where you have the opportunity to shoot uh, pheasant and shoot grouse and things like that, absolutely got to have a shotgun in the discussion. You got to have one, and that's that. Now, to finish up my trio, if I've got to pick my big game rifle, it's going to be the 30 out 6 the 30 out 6 has been around for over 100 years. It served in both World War One and World War II. It is a tried and true and battle-tested round, and it just has knockdown power. I have killed plenty of deer 
with a 30 out six, and none of them have gone more than I want to say the furthest that I've had a deer run with a 30 out six was maybe 25 yards. I mean, they don't go far, and most of the time they get dropped in their tracks. Um, now, with this one, this is a pump action simply because I like to stay on target when I'm shooting, but you've got your, your semi-auto, you've got your brake action, you've got your bolt action, whatever you want. The action to me isn't as important when it comes to the caliber, um, or at least for this particular discussion. Now, with the 30-06, out I have only harvested deer uh, with mine, but I know of guys that have killed elk, they have killed moose, they have killed bears. Um, this this gun's gonna flat out do it. I mean, this bullet right here, that's your 30 out six round, that's a 180 grain bullet, all right? That thing's mean. And these things are deadly accurate too. Like, when somebody thinks of a, a long range weapon, nobody really thinks 30 out six. And I guess if you're trying to compare it to a seven millimeter mag or a 308 or what is it uh, a 65 creed more they're not it's not going as far as those or, or as uh, flat of a trajectory but I have killed a deer with this I think that this gun was made in the early 80s and uh, I've killed a deer out at 400 yards no problem so you know it is a long range type weapon. I mean, 400 yards is a long way away. It might not sound like it. If you're a competition shooter and you're out there making shots at a thousand yards, hey, power to you. But we don't have a property big enough for us to hunt that goes a thousand yards. Not the one that you can see through. So 400 yards, you know, more than, more than effective and efficient for what I need it for. So yeah, those are my top three of what firearm I think every sportsman should have to hunt any game in North America. So to sum it up, we've got 22 long rifle, a 12 gauge shotgun, and a 30 out six. Now opinions are gonna vary and that's fine because the best weapon to hunt with is the one that you are most comfortable with. And I'll never fight you on that, all right? So here's just my little list. And until next time, y'all.